Hello everyone, this is Arc Nova Replay Analysis number 11. We have two exciting games to look at today. First one we're going to look at is a two-player game from our friend Yadi. Uh, against one of his old friends that he used to play against a lot on Tabletop Simulator before Arc Nova came to Board Game Arena. So this was a close match that I, that I got to watch live. Uh, the second one is a four-player game from Tomowaki which uh, has a different ending than usual. And then B BDW wanted to show off some fun things at the end of the stream. So I'll set up the chat and then let's get going. And full screen. All right. Hello, Connor. First game, we're on outdoor areas. Uh, personally, my favorite map. I always enjoy playing on this one. The projects are Predators, Reptiles, and Americas. Hello, Crops. Who was your friend? I've played a few games today. If it was the one like an hour ago, they played very well. I was worried the whole game. Hello, Bob. End goals for YAD are small animal zoo and research zoo. So research zoo can be okay. Small animals is not ideal on this map. You really want to be making use of the gates and playing large animals. I think I uh, I think I got quite lucky in that match, but he, he did play it very well. Obviously, starting with federal grants is a big bonus for him. It was a fun match, though. So what are we looking at starting with in this opening hand? I think because reptiles are on uh, one of the projects, having two reptile icons for free is like it's pretty decent. Uh, I'd 100% be starting with these two. Yeah, I was going to say, looking at the cheetah, the cheetah is pretty interesting. Uh, you, the, a potential game plan could be to start a size 3 enclosure down here, get the double predator tag straight away, support it. But I don't think it's really coherent coherent with the rest of the game plan. It's, it's like too far away from this partner zoo and all the rocks for native lizards, so I don't think that's going to happen. But I would still be looking to keep the cheetah as well. And then for the last one, seabirds and uh, native lizards are kind of not, don't really synergize together because you have to be under 25 appeal to play both of them. And by the time you max out one, you're probably going to cross over 25 appeal. So I don't know, small animals could be interesting as an early thing to support. These projects are not the easiest. So having an extra project is handy. So those would be my starting picks, I think. But instead of the cheetah, he picks uh, Expert in Large Animals, which I can understand as well. On this map, large animals, having a discount on them is going to be very useful. We do see a rhino straight away. We see a raccoon, which meets two of the projects. So some interesting things on the board. Starting with no animals, I don't mind at all. Although, yeah, I still did like the cheetah for later. Opponent starts with an American partner zoo. That should be quite concerning. Uh, normally it's cute if you can, like, start with an American partner zoo and then support Americas at two or something, but that's not an option here. So it means that they have an animal that requires an America tag to play it, or a partner zoo to play it. And those ones are scary. can see just a size 2 enclosure here. Not really clear what for uh, just yet. Interesting starting here and not over the reputation could mean he wants to card draw or just get the partner zoo super early. Yeah, opponent building a size 1 enclosure is, is terrifying because 
that's 99% of skull and macaw now. Herpetologist gets played. Uh, there is the potential of supporting two reptiles before the break, but I think it's unlikely and it would be a waste of native lizards, really. Yeah, Scarlet Macaw gets played immediately. Uh, that does tell us a few things. I guess. It tells us that he either really wants to upgrade a card by getting a second partner zoo, or he doesn't have a sponsor to play and he wants to uh, just trigger the break early. Upgrading Association first is not something you see every day. Uh, I guess the plan is on this map to get a third partner zoo for a second worker reasonably early. <laughs> I'd be f uh, fairly confident he's aiming to keep research zoo. I don't think small animal zoo just works at all on, on this map. But yeah, expert in large animals very, are very good on this map. I think with the association upgrade, it's a pretty clear signal that this is going to be breaking for five with the sponsor's action. So it's good to get you, you, your university out of the way now, because uh, at the start of round two, you really want to associate at like three or four, so you can do it straight away and upgrade your other cards. So using it now is smart. Hand size as well, because there's no animals to play here. He's going to be drawing cards. He has no idea what he's going to get unless he snaps something unplayable. And the break's going to come very soon anyway. So yeah, really scary, honestly, having this much of an income deficit and your opponent's already upgraded a card and they're already, like, getting, <laughs> getting close to 5 America. Okay, this is to draw the raccoon. I like the move. Uh, yeah, useful for, for Predators and America, and just the ability is useful as well. Yeah, the uh, the extra worker is, is nice. I still don't know if I would upgrade Associate first. It's, it's something I don't do very often at all, if ever. I also like this building move, so Yadi is the one to trigger the break. They're both going to draw cards anyway, so might as well get an X token while doing it. Snaps up the Reptile Breeding Program. Uh, there's a couple of projects here, so it tells us that uh, he probably has a Reptile. Almost certainly. Didn't also talk about the Europe Partner Zoo either. Could be like the the European adder that hypnotizes, that's a possibility. That is what Yeti does, snaps up the rhino. Yeah, snapping now makes sense instead of drawing randomly because you, are, you probably want to keep most of these cards. So drawing, drawing and then discarding however many draws, just not not much point to it, might as well get a card that you act actually want. Although some pretty interesting cards show up, Cougar especially. Opponent building a size 2 before associating. Uh, this would signal that they, have, they do have a reptile in hand, either European or American. Uh, expert in large animals. Uh, yeah, okay. It, it actually makes a lot of sense to play it now. I was thinking... I was thinking you'd, you'd want to play animals first, because... You know, but he, he, yeah, he does have a lot of sponsors that he wants to play. He also wants to play native losers relatively early, so... I like it, and I think the plan is to get the second uni and then upgrade animals and then upgrade build. Okay, it is the Pond Turtle. Uh, yeah, the size 2 should have given this away because 
The only reason you'd make a size 2 for a size 1 animal is if it needs to touch water. So yes, uh, just a basic reptile to get reptile breeding program online. This is the second uni. Oh. Okay, you, you can do this either way, but... Mm. So I guess you want to upgrade build and then hit this reputation and then upgrade animals. And the benefit of doing that is making a size 1 enclosure for your raccoon instead of putting it in a size 2 enclosure. Uh, overbuilding is not ideal, but it's not the end of the world either. Like, I would not have minded uh, Yeti playing the raccoon in a size 2 enclosure. It's not, it's not that much difference. Okay, we do have second association worker for the opponent. And they donate already. They want this partner zoo. Well, we assume actually. Uh, pretty decent rewards partner zoo and 10 money. So maybe it's not as urgent of a rush as it normally is because they're both decent. But partner zoo is still slightly better. Yeah, so the awkward thing about a build for action is you'd ideally want to be building a pavilion, but you don't really want to spend an X token to build five. So that is why I liked upgrading animals first there. Expert on Africa for the opponent. A little bit of an odd sponsor to play, I think. Um... Okay, clever uses it to clever down animals, but it's not it's not part of one of these projects. It's I guess I underrate the clever ability, but it can be useful. Okay, here is the raccoon in the single enclosure. Yes, a ton of uh ton of reputation here and actually boosting association down which uh, makes a lot of sense he ideally wants to well I assume that he wants to build and then play native lizards so association is just in the way for that not like there's a second worker snapping up breeding cooperation for the opponent I don't I don't really rate it as a card much, the breeding cooperation. It's going to be useful for hitting five Americas, but other than that, it might be a CP at the end. It might help two predators or something. I guess if they're going for five reptiles, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I, I, I don't think it's snap worthy while there's a cougar as well that just straight up helps with two of the projects. That's my opinion. Uh, this map. This map is if you have buildings touching the gates, they have plus two capacity for animals. So a size one enclosure can fit size three animals. Size three enclosure can fit size five animals. Very good map. And it's got a partner zoo up here in the corner, which is very useful. Thinking that Yadi might grab the third uni, that's a possibility. Uh, for the two CP upgrade, yeah, I could see that as well. Uh, he's not really close to supporting anything else. How often do I start building up here instead of down here? Uh, if I'm building up here, it means I really want the partner to early, so yeah, sometimes. But I think I'd never start down here. I have started up here if I have a like a building that needs to touch water or something, like polar bear exhibit. But yeah, most of the time over here, sometimes up here. Snapping up Thorny Devil. Uh, it has some uses, obviously for reptile breeding program. 
but also for reptiles being on the uh, one of the projects. And then Australia release gets revealed straight after. I don't know if it's crazy crazy, but a little bit unexpected. There are other good animals like the cougar here. I guess he doesn't think it's worth fighting for Americas because the opponent has such a lead on it already, and then committing to four is very sad if you're only getting three CP for it. Yeah, um, very suspicious opponent grabbing two science uni. They took the breeding one that requires two partner zoos, right? So they don't need it for that, unless I'm getting confused. Ah oh, yes, it is another small animal for small animals. <laughs> yes, we have a giant lead on predators. <laughs> so yeah, just building that, I have to say, that is a nice kiosk. That's a very funny looking kiosk though, like all these empty enclosures around it. And all size 2. Better find a lot of size 2 animals. Uh, but yeah, this is just so native losers can get played next move, which is going to be a big point boost. And some money as well. Uh, opponent's building. They really want to draw cards, so they're, they that tells me that they don't have much that they, that they like. I would generally be trying to build around towards the reputation. But it could also mean that they have an animal that requires water for a size 2. Well, I guess you could put it down there as well. Native lizards. 7 points, pretty good. Uh, I can only get a max of 9, so 7 is 100% worth it. Yeah, this is, okay, breeding cooperation time. This is one of those tricky situations where both players want the break pretty badly, but they both obviously have sponsors they want to play, so the next few moves are going to be quite slow. Just a lot of shuffling around. I think given how much time is left in the round, Xing out associate is fine. Opponent Xs out animals. It makes sense. Uh, release the Rhino. We have a size 2 enclosure there for the Rhino. I was going to say, maybe a sneaky way of getting the partner zoo, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Yeah, opponent snapping up the Cougar, which makes a ton of sense for them. They need the America's icons. That gets them to four Americas now. They get the Rhea that just appeared, they get to 5. Uh, Xing out build I like a lot because there is just no need to build with this many empty enclosures. Yeah, opponent triggers the break. Yeah, how are we looking for upgrades, money, points? So, both pretty even. Uh, two unis and one partner zoo versus two partner zoos, one uni. But opponent has slightly more income, slightly more points. It's still reasonably close, but they do have an extra worker, which is a kind of a big advantage, and they're about to get a partner zoo here. Well, interestingly enough, Yeti could snipe the partner zoo if the opponent's not paying attention. And taking species diversity, yeah. The yeah the correct move. Already got four out of the five needed. Okay, opponent using their first cube from breeding cooperation on reptiles gives them just enough to get the partner zoo here, which they take. This was interesting, yeah. I was in a chat with the AD at the time, and he said maybe the money was better in this situation. Because the third partner zoo doesn't do a ton for the opponent. 
And also, they, they could have an animal that they want to play that's Australia, but otherwise pretty smart denying the Australia partner zoo, because they might remember that Yeti picked up the thorny devil. Oh, okay. They just want the uh, sea lion. Never mind then. They snap it up. Yeah, I'm not sure about taking snapping as a second reward though. I feel like the money is always useful, and even on this map, size 2 is very useful as well. Because they're essentially size 4s around here. So I'm, I'm not a fan of the snapping, especially for like an uncontested animal. Uh, yep, makes sense to get 5 money. Yeti does want a shorter round because only one worker, but also just doesn't have money and doesn't have a sponsor that he wants to play. Okay, opponent is building. I love the amount of pavilions up there. Not overbuilding though. I like that. Really no need to put a random kiosk down. It costs, costs money. Uh, and obviously doesn't need a size 1 or size 3 enclosure either. Okay, st starting with Asia release does make some sense uh, because it gives you the extra reputation to get the worker, so it means you don't have to take the worker reward, you can instead take 5 income, and it's also the 5 CP needed to hit this 10 money here, which is going to really help him stay in this round. And now all of a sudden he doesn't mind if it's a longer round because he has a worker. Upgrading cards because he's about to take a cards action and because getting close to 10 reputation. Okay, opponent takes the university so they can upgrade animals before they play animals. Makes sense. Yeah, still not really sure what the science was for. Was it just to block the third uni here? Hmm, interesting. Okay, we have Science Institute as the first card draw. The rear makes a lot of sense. Tiger as well. No, he, just, he just wants everything from the <laughs> from in range here. So yeah, Science Institute makes sense because research zoo. Plus it opens up the combination for like Science Museum later, if he happens to hit it. All those other cards. And the opponent just triggers the break before playing animals. They will have to, they'll, they'll both have to discard a card. What do you actually get rid of here? I guess the rear. No, oh, no, it's Australia release. Yeah, fair enough. Ooh, that's interesting. You have the opponent snapping up the lion when Federal Grants is on offer. Although, I mean, at this stage of the game, Federal Grants is slightly worse, but still an amazing card at this stage. It's like almost guaranteed CP at the end, plus a science icon, plus money immediately, and some income. Yeah, yeah, he agrees. He's going to take two reputation just to draw it from range. Okay, we have animals time for the opponent, so that is the sea lion. Yeah, they could have played that before the break, they had 15 money. I guess they didn't have cards that they wanted to sell. They sell two now. And the dingo. Okay, so they did have some Australian animals that they wanted to play. So yeah, they're really working towards Predators 4 now. And we know they still have the Lion and I think they still have the Cougar. Maybe those are the two cards left in their hand. Uh, 
Science Institute. Yeah, okay, the timing of that makes sense because we also want to play federal grants before the break. Although, I don't think there was a real rush to play Science Institute. Maybe to sort of scare the opponent a bit. Oh. Size 3 enclosure over here. Pavilion. True. Does need it for the tiger. Yeah, okay, I guess the planet city wants to play the tiger next. Alright. Good catch. <laughs> that that is the next move. Oh, that's pretty nice actually. The tiger gives him two CP plus he gets one from hitting eleven reputation, which means he can snipe the X tokens, I guess. Yeah, when the opponent has only two cards in hand. Playing a sponsor for money is not going to be much good for them. So good timing there. And I like the clever monkey just getting build down because there's still a ton of empty enclosures here. Playing animals at size 2 for the opponent is pretty suspicious. Uh, is this the cougar? Is that what the size 3 is for? Okay, so then I assume that the next move is they want to support Predators at 4, but that's going to take away their second cube from here, which means America's 5 is going to be harder. Interesting. Yeah, we, and we know that they have a line in their hand now. Yep, uh, Yeti knows what's up, just supporting Predators at 2. And what are we snapping here? Take snapping over size 2 enclosure. And even over the extra worker. Not sure. Let's see. Keeps research, so we expected that. Just a little sunbathing lizard. Oh yeah, we're still going for five reptiles, of course. So that's four now. Okay, and we have the rear for five species diversity, so there are some good projects coming up. Ooh, opponent... I'm not a huge fan of doing cards at three. They want to snap up Expert and Predators to save their... Oh, it feels, feels inefficient. Especially since Yadis just finished his... He's just supported Predators, so he doesn't necessarily want to get any more. Yeah, it just feels very slow. Yeah, no workers used. That could have been an interesting time to cause the break, honestly. But, I mean, Federal Grants is something that you want to get out before the break, and it can be done this move, because we know the opponent wants to play Expert in Predators now to save their cube. Yeah, it feels very slow from the opponent. I and mean, if we look now, Yeti has more income, more points, and more money. Although there is about to be a project supported, so... Yeah, I think causing the break would have been interesting there, but at the same time, he's also got animals to play. And drawing cards before sunbathing makes sense. It is very cool to see how cheap these big animals become with uh, expert in large animals and partner zoos. Okay, there we have Predators. Yep, they just take the 5 money and they unlock size 2, which is fine, but I'm still surprised that none of the first 3 rewards are going to be 5 income. Taipan is, is a very nice draw as well, yes, that is the 5th Reptile.
picks up the African monkey, because why not? I guess it's a little bit more than why not, because it can be useful to just save an action late game, and it's a lot cheaper on this map than usual because of the bigger enclosures. Yeah, and Herbert Toll just giving a, a lot of money back here. Kind of a sad build action for the opponent. Just three buildings because they're out of they're out of money. But yeah, the opponent doesn't mind staying in the round because they still have workers that they haven't used yet. And still no second partners for, for Yadi. Okay, it's a size 5 enclosure, 4. We're not sure what for yet. I do really like this positioning though. Uh, this is a super handy spot because you want to leave... Like, the snapping has synergy with size 2 if he unlocks it, because now you can, like, snap a sponsor, build your size 2 here, play the sponsor for money. Something like a free sponsor action during the break. Uh, so yeah, I like leaving a 2 spot open there for that reason, which makes me think he's going to unlock size 2 as the next reward. And yes, Rhea is also good for the species diversity. Uh, the fifth species. Okay, opponent just spending some X tokens to get the third university and also unlock their last worker from getting to eight reputation. So they're, you know, they have a point lead now. Money and income relatively even, but they have a 15 point lead. And this is just a break. Uh, 5x tokens is really nice to be having at the start of your break, plus also the fact that your associate is at 5 while the opponent's associate is at 1. Just takes a uh, thieving monkey, doesn't want to get stolen from. Money is still pretty tight, so yeah, getting pilfered now would hurt a lot. Opponent snaps up the kangaroo, which makes sense. Maybe they have a herbivore that they can flock it with, but it can also just fit in there. We uh, have the potential 5th America, America icon for the opponent. Yeah, they realize that and snap it up immediately. So, we're still kind of tracking their hand. We know that they have the lion, kangaroo, and the tamarind now. Assuming the lion still exists, which it should because the uh, pack is worth a lot. Alright, just playing the re before we do uh, Species Diversity at 5. And yes, uh, can't use the Venom ability because the other player has to be ahead of you on the appeal track, and they were both tied. Lion is size 4, so it can fit in one of these spots. Size 5 uh, Predator is the Cheater from Africa. Okay, that is the Tamarin. Nothing interesting here for them, so they just draw from the deck. And there is the Lion. Yeah, so the question is, does this game have another break in it or not? And actually, Expert in Africa paying off there, being able to clever down sponsors right now and the end game is huge. Okay, we have max reptiles. 
The opponent's about to reply with similar with Max Americas. And still no uh, still no third upgrade here. It's probably past the point of being worth it. Thank you, old man gaming. Video on avoiding the mid-game stall. I have a few ideas for videos. I haven't posted one in a while. He could get Africa. Who could get Africa? There's no Africa here. Africa Partner Zoo? Oh yeah. Uh, Africa Partner Zoo would make some sense with with all these animals. So yeah, it's not out of the realms of... I don't know if it's worth the time, honestly. I guess if you want to play these, but there's no enclosure for them either. Uh, and what did he take, actually? Let's go back a bit. Oh, okay, he took the extra worker. That makes sense. That That's going to allow him to support two things this round. Yeah, so the cheap donations are gone. The positive about upgrading associate is you get to spend X tokens on it, but... Uh, yeah, he took the worker. I like this move. Don't necessarily need the reputation, but... Just like saving an action using the monkey before cards. Uh, some pretty interesting things. <laughs> yeah, so that's a good point. These uh, X tokens aren't going to do much without Associate being upgraded, so we might see it this move. But the game is so close to ending. Musk Ox taking away sponsors, cool. We can see the opponent. This is the awkward thing for the opponent. They have that size two build and uh, sponsor thing. They have that synergy there, but they haven't built around it properly. They've left room for an aviary here, which is normal, but it means you can't hit it with the size two enclosure. With the game being so close to being ended, this is pretty crazy move to me, playing a sponsor now. Um, but there's good reason. It's another CP for Research Zoo and Game Goal, which, I mean, could be avoided if you just get the third uni. But it's also another CP in itself from hitting the one CP here, and then if you get like the Europe Partner Zoo, it's another endgame CP. Yeah, there goes some of the X tokens. You can see the opponent really needs the X tokens using cards, but they're, they're still like a, another two moves away from finishing. They just took Africa release which is going to be decent for the line. It's going to be enough for them to end the game. Okay, we have Species Diversity coming out now. Yeah, the, the opponent obviously just needed something to end the game. They, uh, they clearly didn't have it in their hand. But all, with all their sponsors, yeah. Okay, Gady finally takes the size 2 enclosure. So now the game is really close. Uh, the problem is Yeti's out of workers, so... It does look a bit like the clapper boards, like the yeah, lights, camera, action. Opponent's getting really close now, they have Adventure Playground, which makes the cards action a bit more suspicious, because they could have just done sponsors last turn. But also, I think, 
huge, <clears throat> pretty huge mistake here. Not leaving this spot open for the size 2 enclosure. Like, if anything, you put the Adventure Playground here and leave this open if there is a break. And we are going to see that, because the AD needs to cause a break, because he has no other way of scoring points. And maybe the most ridiculously clutch play in the history of Ark Nova coming up here. Uh, what should be the final move of the game? The Tortoise is obviously pretty good. There's a lot of points in there. Uh, that and something else. Maybe the... Maybe just this Tortoise. Maybe the... No, not the Pelican. The Vulture's not playable. No, okay, no. So what we're about to see here is... Snapping Medical Breakthrough. Using the size to Enclosure. Bam, playing it instantly, giving 8 instant points, and a CP from it being the break. So now, the end of the game just got triggered. When I was watching this live, my mind was blown. The opponent snaps up the tortoise, which is... Yeah, so now the really awkward thing is the opponent can't associate with the last action. Because they don't have X tokens. Uh, so they will be forced to play animals. Oh no, okay, they could associate. They put their size 2 over the clever. Yeah. Um, they did have sponsors in their hands, so I still do think it's a pretty big mistake. Not leaving a size 2 gap there. Something that's easily overlooked though. Okay, they are going to play animals. Yeah, they have they have their kangaroo. That can flock with the muskox. Which is a pretty decent last animal to play. Being able to pouch two cards as well. And then just the tortoise. So yeah, even with this ending the game. And the cool thing about ending the game in a break is both players get one more turn. So it like it denies the disadvantage of triggering the last break, which was very lucky, because the opponent having an animals and association action would have just been game over. Here we have animals at five. Ah uh, yeah, obviously gonna be the tortoise. Just for a ton of endgame points. Selling everything, because why not? Just the shoe bill is last few extra points. Six points is pretty good for a small animal, though. So we actually did manage to hit all six uh, research icons. What other endgame points do we have here? Nothing from Native Lizards, sadly. So that was the disadvantage of covering that rock, uh, not getting one point from Native Lizards. But yeah, Federal Grants hit. Yeah, triggering on break does not count as your turn. I found out that out the hard way in one of my games. Yeah, huge win here. 100% down to that clutch. <laughs> Maybe a bit lucky medical breakthrough giving the exact amount of points needed. But yeah, this was a really cool game to watch live. The opponent had Large Animal Zoo, which is pretty decent on this map. Uh, they got three, so they only get two CP from it. Yeah, still only 10 points in the end. Very close game. Especially given the start that the opponent had with the Scarlet McCall. Very cool comeback from the AD. Missed the seal. Ah, uh, one, two, three. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. Yes, the sea lion's up there. Four, so they did get three CP from it. Which is still a good effort. 
very good effort. So yeah, super happy with that match. Yeah, if you go, if uh, someone triggers the end of the game during a break, uh, everyone gets one more turn. Glad to hear AKA reject. Very cool. I want to see how many turns this game was. 35 turns, five breaks, so fairly standard. Any other stats we can look at here? Maybe the amount of snapped cards that the opponent took. 12 seems insanely high. I guess they did take snapping as their first uh, reward. Yeah, very quick game. This was, yeah, this was a fun one to watch live, very back and forth. All right, we'll move on to the second game. So the cool and different thing about four player games is it's not in arena, so there are different settings. So for this game, you actually get to choose your map and Tomoaki has a choice between Silver Lake and Ice Cream Parlors. And I'm completely on board with his choice here. Stuff the lake, we're going ice cream. But actually playing more, I'm not convinced Lake is the best map anymore. I think Outdoor Areas is the best. I just really don't enjoy playing on the lake at all. Uh, we see that Tomowaki is first player, which I'm still not sure is any advantage in a four player game. I still would rather be fourth player, in my opinion. Yes, we have the four player game. We have a very interesting start here. Let's look at the end games. Natural Asu is just complete garbage on this map in particular, because you want to be filling it up to get the kiosk, so. It's going to be small animals who kept here, which is something that we should uh, keep in mind and start working towards early. Also, species diversity, very easy to hit. Birds, America, a lot of these projects are easy to hit. But yeah, but the cool combo is Science Institute Research. You can get a second worker quite quickly before the break. Yeah, outdoor area, I just had a 25 turn game today, my first ever. And yeah, if you're rushing the game before Silver Lake is ready, I think it beats it more often than not. So if I'm in Tom Waki's shoes, I'm keeping these 100%. Uh, what else though? I guess small animals, like the lizard and the bird, it's not really a great choice here. The rest of these are pretty unplayable. The kangaroo is a herbivore, but it's way too expensive to, to be playing early, I think, so. Yeah, I like those four picks. GG. Ah uh, yes, my 25 turn game was a two-player game. I've had 26 before, but never 25. It was pretty insane. Uh, I did get helped by an eagle and a sun bear, though. Top right on Silver Lake, yeah. If you have a lot of sponsors that you want to play early, top right on Silver Lake can make sense. So first action here, I guess just... Yeah, okay, building is fine. I was going to say Science Institute, but... You don't want to make the opponent suspicious but, uh, until until you need to. Will I post the 25 turn game? We won't be looking at it tonight, but I might make a little post on YouTube to celebrate it. Science Institute is generally hated, but the combo here is it allows you to support Researcher 2, like in the next two moves, which we're about to see, which unlocks a lot of cool things you can do. And yeah, the reason we're actually building first is to get the Cougar, which is a very playable animal here. It's going to help with species. Uh, it's also America's. And it's just a very playable first animal. So I, I like that move a lot. 
and we see an eagle appear straight away, it's going to be fun. But yeah, I think Science Institute is generally regarded as the worst or one of the worst sponsors. There's been some discussion on it. You can see all the opponents just uh, taking their unis and partners ooze. Science Institute two games in a row, yep. You have seen history being made. I think trying to get max out research here to five would be a uh, complete mistake. Just the amount of tempo that supporting it at two gives you is insane. Especially on ice cream parlors, you can upgrade build early and just build your way to all these kiosks. The second work is pretty useful as well. Now, although I think less so in four player games because they tend to go a lot quicker. If it was on a different map, I might be tempted to take like five income instead. But yeah, we go research of two and taking extra worker and upgrading build. I love this stuff. That should put him pretty far ahead, especially on this map. This is one of the better maps to be playing. Just, so money is everything in four player games. From, from what I've seen studying Tomowaki's games. You can see the uh, uh, first player after him snaps up the eagle. Second player after him plays Ornithologist, which is going to be a very nice card in this game. Third player just uh, doing some building. Uh, we should also look at the maps that the opponents have. So, Park Restaurant... Outdoor areas, looks like they're building towards that partner zoo and an early upgrade. And commercial harbour, probably the weakest of the four maps, in my opinion. Okay, uh, cards action. Is anything worth snapping here? I don't think so, but at the same time, this is already too many cards to be holding. Yeah, just draw and see what you get. Rhino is much less good because species diversity is already here, but it can still be useful for habitat diversity, I guess. We do have a few unique habitats already. Meerkat Den, very nice for this player. Uh, herbivores are also one of the projects, and it just helps with species as well. And it's just a very good card in general. See, red player snaps up the eagle owl. That is the outdoor areas player. Okay. Yep, so everyone's taken one card's action now, so the break's at 8 out of 15. And we have a build action. Uh, I like building now, because playing the cougar makes it... Well, okay, I guess there is a lot, there is a decent amount of time in this round left because sponsors is down for everyone else. Animals is going to be like the next thing played for everyone. But yeah, I, st I do like building here. Just want to unlock those kiosks. Uh, I don't know about covering the drawing spot. Obviously looking to hit something that he hasn't found yet. But, like, there's a lot of cards here, and a lot of these are going to be have, have to be discarded. Unless the plan is to play the Sunbathing Lizard, which actually makes a lot of sense now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, pretty decent hitting expert on the, on the uh, Americas. Just wondering what he's going to sell now. Maybe the Bird of Paradise and... Yeah, I don't know. The Monkey? Because I think the plan is he wants to play that and that. And he can just afford it. I think he's worked out he has just enough money to play the cougar and the uh, little reptile here. And he wants to do that. 
sell the rhino. I like. I would like selling the rhino here actually. Maybe the rhino and the bird of paradise. Keep the America. Just go for that. We'll see in a second. You can see one of the opponent plays a jumping animal. So it breaks a 10 out of 15 now. Kind of an interesting decision to play animals over spending the worker. But I see it making sense. Because money is so important, he's pretty far behind on income. Not pretty far. This person here has got a really good start with a park restaurant, meerkat den around it. But yeah, choosing to prioritize income over the worker because there is very little chance that uh, it's going to get back to his turn before the break because he's uh, jumping three. Keeps the rhino. Yeah, I think it would have been an interesting decision to sell the rhino as well. Yeah, sells the American monkey, so... Mm, I like American monkey for species as well as America there. The primate is one of the more difficult ones to hit. Yeah, we can see the break is triggered immediately by this player, and that makes sense. They want to do it before red plays animals, before Tomoaki can spend that second worker. So yeah, a little bit of a slow start actually. Uh, it would have made the five income here a lot better instead of the second worker. But I mean, having two now with associated four is, is pretty nice. <coughs> Okay, red plays the eagle owl. So they have two birds now. They all, that's the ornithologist player. They also play a llama. Because why not? They have two Americas. They could look at supporting that next. Oh yeah, so they, have, they actually upgraded associate first with their two partner zoos. So that's very similar to the game we just saw. Could be looking at getting a third partner zoo for the extra worker early. Herpetologist for the yellow player, just helping with diversity. But also these cards are really useful in four player games. They give you a, a ton more money than, than usual. Yeah. This move confused me a bit. So obviously it's to get the science icon for the rhino, but I think playing the rhino is fairly low on the list of priorities. I would have liked hand size or just his classic partner zoo start. Oh sorry, he's already got the uh he's already got the science icon, so what am I talking about? I'm not actually sure. The reputation is needed for question mark. Yes, just realized that. Okay, we can see the outdoor areas player does get that third partner zoo and then uses the worker immediately for two reputation. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is a head scratcher for me, the uh, It's kind of annoying for the yellow player, like it takes away their ideal second uni, but I think with the yellow player being on that map, they're in the worst position out of everyone, so I don't think it's a targeted attack. Yeah, we can see the yellow player has to take the two science uni, which does hurt them. expert on the Americas. So I mean th this is this is pretty nice on this map because you're always going to hit the end game goal. Shouldn't say always, but you should always hit it. Blue the play with the Meerkat Den supporting herbivores at two. It's fine. Just supporting something early really helps you. I, I don't like upgrading cards first though.
penguin pool for the ornithologist player is quite scary. Would have been scary if they played it first up, but still scary nonetheless. Yeah, there's about to be a ton of income here once he gets his build action off. Interesting to see how he builds though, uh, if he goes ahead and builds a size 4 enclosure right now or just builds towards his kiosk and waits. Yeah, cards action first. Hmm, snapping up native lizards. So, it can't be a, it can't be like a terribly bad move, because it's an insane card on this map, you can easily hit 9, like you, you want to be hitting 9 on this. It's also, okay, it's not helpful for species diversity, but it is a sponsor to play when you're building along here. Just with the lack of cards though, I don't know that this was the right time to be snapping it up. I was thinking maybe you could build around here, but you can't really get there without triggering this uh, play sponsor for money, so... Anyway, that is the decision that he's made. You can see blue player draws four from the deck all at once. We don't like that. What if they hit the perfect Asia animal and they want to release it? And that's why you draw one at a time. Red player snappy up guided school tours. Okay. Yellow player snapping up the horse. They have a petting zoo. You want to see a pavilion plus petting zoo. Yeah, this was another real head scratcher for me. I think I stopped watching about this point. I was like, what the hell is going on? But petting zoo at this stage is wild to me. It's like, it, it's a, I mean, it's a good shape to build around this because you don't want to play native lizards yet, but petting zoo and what? Uh, pavilion, yes, and the kiosk or size one, size one. I don't know. This just feels very different to his other games. Normally would be seeing like the partner zoos, like maybe three partner zoos already. I like the research start, but... Okay, the, the big bonus of that is his income is insanely higher than everyone else. And he has a good native, native lizards coming up. Petting Zoo is active for the kiosks. That is one advantage of it. Uh, I'm not sure how much of a consideration you'd... It, like, it still feels like a waste of a building. I guess the counterpoint is... What do you really need an, another size 2 enclosure for? Yeah, it's a good way of touching all the rock. I feel like a size, size 2 and 1 does the same job though. Size 2 and 1 does the same job, but it's like slightly more flexible. Okay, we can see the uh, horse getting played. Okay, yellow did have a second petting zoo animal, so it makes sense. We need the pigs. Well, that's the thing. Uh, animals is not upgraded, so how are we getting the pigs? It's not clear. Mm, I'm definitely not a fan of this this uh, this move. 
Do I have a Discord? Yes, I am sorry I'm like this on Discord. Same as my BGA name. This feels like a very wasted move. Uh, I mean, Pavilion there is nice. Playing Native Lizards now is nice. For 8. The difference between 8 and 9 is like whatever. Income is great. And yeah, still hasn't spent the worker, and we got sponsors at 5 here, sponsors at 5 here. There could be another break before the worker gets used. Okay, Blue plays Tech Institute, so maybe not. But yeah, it's also something like you want to you wanna be uh, associating first and then building after, so your associate is higher up for the next round. That's like a little small tactical play you want to do as well. Oh yeah, we... Red did have the guided school tours. <laughs> Yellow choosing to build. Odd time to build when it's at three. Okay, they do it to take the, the piggies. It's fine. Uh, is the worker just mind control so that others push the break? It doesn't seem to be working if that's the if that's the goal here. Geologist would have been pretty sick. Geologist on this map is insane. Also kind of insane that there's a sun bear that's been sitting here for basically half the round. Uh, extra actions in four player games are even more valuable, I feel. Xing out animals. So uh, this feels very slow. He's taken a size one build action and now an Xing instead of taking an action. That's something that we have haven't really seen from his games before. Goodbye, pig. Good for the yellow player, though. They'd be very happy getting their third petting zoo animal. Ooh, we have a sponsor upgrade from Blue, who just got their second uni. So okay, they they had time to uh, they had time to support their project and then use their second worker. Are we going to see an America's two support from Tomowaki? Red doing some building. Yellow really wants the break. So now would be the perfect time to use your worker. Okay, it is just America's at two. That's fine. Just being able to support something is good. Mm, I was going to say, okay, snapping versus... I might have defaulted to 5 income, like I think the money is always useful, but given the income advantage he has over over everyone else, I can understand snapping. Oh yeah, and it, okay, it makes a ton of sense to get the sun bear as well. Yeah, okay, given the sun bear is this, I like snapping. Uh, still ver uh, very behind on upgrades though. Yeah, I don't know if I'd ever call it enough income. Because they're still expensive. Like, if you have more income, you can always spend it. There's uh, spots for big enclosures. There's a big animal that needs to be played. Like, 29 might seem like a lot compared to everyone else, but it doesn't even build an enclosure and play the rhino yet. So I think income is always good. one or two. I don't think, we probably want one more kiosk and then maybe that's it because we still need room for enclosures here as well. Yeah, so interesting point about spending your early workers. Do you support two projects or two or just focus more on the upgrades? I think there's there's a lot of arguments either way. Um, ideally this wouldn't have been a problem, like he could have had a second upgrade if he had had time in the first round to get a unit university or partner do as well so it's normally not an issue but yeah in this case it does feel very slow he's quite far behind on upgrades you can see that yellow plays their petting zoo animal which is very nice before the break there is a release project for the rhino which could come in handy 
Can we just see the break here? Uh, what was the breakout? I think the break was 13, right? Yeah, okay. Drawing it with sponsors is fine. Baboon Rock. Okay, are we snapping anything up here? Maybe just Bamboo Forest. That is the advantage of our triggering the break. You get to snap up first. Greater Flamingo. Uh, okay, it is species and continents diverse. I guess with uh, the Flamingo and the... No, not the Sun Bear. I, with, with these three, there are the five unique species. Hmm... Okay, I mean, it's just a decent animal in general. There's also birds here, but I saw a couple of players already going for birds, right? Not just the one. So, I mean, how, how are we looking? Um, he's got a point lead right now. He's got an income lead. He's got a money lead. But just upgrades very far behind, and that's going to that's gonna be a hit to his tempo. It's also leading CP right now. The rewards I didn't talk about, but they're not too great. Two reputation is nice to get in one of the upgrades. Okay, we can see blue takes bamboo forest and then draws cards. Still are drawing three at a time. Red doing a size, a power six associate. Oh, that's kind of cute. Get their uni and two rep for four rep total to get a third worker. And they donate. They actually upgrade sponsors too, so we got two upgraded sponsors players. You can see yellow just goes for third on species diversity. That's a move I don't like very much. Uh, this is like the easiest project to hit. So, I mean, you already have a lead on, you know, like you're even with everyone else, so you have a lead. I just try to go for five. Some of the moves from the other players are bizarre. I mean, some of the moves from Tomowaki are bizarre as well so far. Uh, surely this is nothing snappable. We just have to draw from the deck, yeah. Interesting monkey synergy. Uh, it's going to help with species diversity, one of them. Water playground also just decent. Yeah, monkey park has no place here. Just going to get in the way of enclosures. I would guess the size 3 is going to go here and then, yeah, maybe a bird aviary here or something, size, maybe bird aviary up here, size 5 here, size 5 here. Also, okay, and he's a size 4 for the rhino as well. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. You can see blue just uh, going for the ostrich. Did I really just see that correctly? Wow. Uh, yeah, I think there is a way to look at past tournaments on BGA, even if you haven't participated. Red just snaps up the European Bison. This is wild. Uh, okay. Red going for birds and herbivores at the same time, it looks like. Another bird shows up. Okay, yellow doing a good job drawing one at a time. Takes the adder. Mm. Okay, seems like he plans on playing the Sun Bear this round. Uh, he should have enough money to play both. Like pavilion in size one here or something, or size two and size three. Can afford to play both. 
yeah, Sun Bear pretty useful to get out for the uh, species diversity, actually. He might be a good chance to get it. If he plays the uh, prim Primatologist, then that's the fifth, uh, fifth species he needs. No one else has five yet. You can see Blue releases the deer. Ooh, good tempo for them. Interestingly, they haven't taken money or anything else yet. They've just taken aviary and extra worker. That, that is like a small advantage of park restaurant. You have some extra income. And yeah, this will be nice for releasing the rhino later. Blue also takes two reputation from five CP. This break is coming sooner than Tomoaki would want. That was Red that did that. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of using upgraded sponsors just for the extra money, but I guess in four play games, it's actually pretty useful. Oh. I guess he kind of panics a bit. Just immediately plays the Sun Bear and then uses 2x tokens to get a uni to upgrade animals. The break is really close. I still think I would have liked building before and just... Because blue is obviously playing animals. Red still wants to spend their worker. Yellow still wants to spend a worker. I think he could have got away with building and then playing... Yeah, I guess he was worried about discarding some of these cards from his hand, which would have which would have hurt. This gives me hope to hit six hundred. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not like the normal clean play that we are we're used to seeing from him, but he's still in a great position to win this game. Got a point lead and income lead still, and the upgrades are coming now. Still a little bit behind, equal with yellow. I don't think a one upgrade game is very feasible, but it would be cool to see, I agree. I just had a no sponsor game today, that was different. Yeah, we can see that he's, uh, he does have an extra turn indeed. Yellow wants to even play animals and use a worker, it looks like. I did win the no sponsor game. Primatologist comes out. Yeah, so at four species now. How's everyone else looking? Yellow also at four, but out of money. So he might still get away with five species, it looks like. Okay, blue plays Explorer, which is a very good reason to upgrade sponsors. I don't think we're seeing that reason from red yet. But Red has a very scary bird set up here. Yeah, Red is now playing animals, they're playing a bird. So this this break had a lot more time left in it. Oh yeah, yellow's already supported, that's a very good point. Yellow is not even competition. So yeah, there's a very good chance that red's only playing birds. Uh, blue could sneak it away, I guess. What's blue missing? A uh, few things. Yeah, yellow getting a partner zoo. Okay, now we see the build action. You might actually get to play animals before the break still. Uh, seems like he doesn't want to though. 
I would have been tempted to build the two enclosure over here for the five money, just to give you the, the option to play the Flamingo this round. Also really interesting, not covering up the reputation. What's up with that? Okay, the playground can go there. Yeah, that actually makes sense. The water playground wants to go there. But this move I can't explain. Is it really just to maximize this kiosk? I feel like the reputation would be very handy to upgrade Associate. I mean, we're going to get that from playing animals. Yeah, for the posturing, but still. It's a three upgrade game if he does. Oh, hello, spider. Come on, dude, get away from the mouse, please. Harmless spider, thankfully, but yeah, shoo. On your way. You can live here, but just away from my computer, please. Thankfully, not one of those deadly Australian spiders. Oh. Red supporting birds at four. I mean, it's good tempo wise, and he's going for five Americas. I guess the difference between four and five is not huge. Also, red only, the only person donating. Yeah, we are... We are seeing... <laughs> no, not a huntsman. We are seeing Tomowaki's game plan coming together. But I think given how long this round has gone for, he's probably regretting playing the Sun Bear that early. <coughs> we do see the break here now. There is, uh, there is no way that this is waiting for an archaeologist. I was going to say waiting for free-range monkeys, but that's even more far-fetched. There's, there's the geologist. Anyone got rocks? The geologist would be very good for blue. And pretty good for yellow. Ah, uh, yes. What gets snapped here? I'd be snapping up Geologist. Monkey. Okay. Ah, yes, he does love his clever abilities, so are we going to see a clever down of cards here? Uh, it's not needed for diversity. Tasmanian Devil also pretty good. Yeah, uh, he might play it directly from the display. He does have first turn here. But the Flamingo is one of the ones that has to be played. You think the top players can predict what is on top of the deck? That, that would explain a lot. Okay, this would have to be the Tassie Devil if he's not doing animals at 5. Because uh, it gives the reputation and... Yeah, we've noted many times before he just does not care about reputation, so getting to 5 or 8 doesn't matter. I mean, getting to 5 matters, getting to 8 doesn't. Yeah, it looks like that was a pavilion spot. Oh no, right, okay, he's still got these spots to cover, of course. Okay, so the Tassie Devil is not needed for the reputation anymore. But yeah, it would have been good for habitat diversity as well. I wonder what the plan is now with the Rhino. Hmm. Yeah, clevering down cards, we uh, suspected that. Blue playing animals and just being a pain to every single player, giving them venom. Oh my god. We see the Avery filled up. I, I hope this is getting released. Otherwise, that's... Oh my god, the aviary. It's been massacred. <laughs> yep. 
yeah, I think uh, he does take snapping quite often. Tomowaki does. Ostrich, yeah. I don't understand why the ostrich takes up four spots. I don't understand why the emu can't live in the aviary e either. Okay, we have five species. Very nice. Just the five money from five CP. Takes five money over the multiplier, actually. I guess it's not really a good thing to multiply. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Emu can't live in an aviary, yes, because it gives the aviary. That that does make sense. Actually, that'd be a stupid reason to play it in an aviary. Eagles should take up all the space, I guess. I mean, ostriches are a lot bigger. He does donate, which makes sense. He's got a ton of money. And yeah, we, we're keeping small animals, though. Okay. I did forget about small animals, though. Uh, we got one CP from it. That might be it, though. <coughs> Two enclosure map uh, bonus is less good. I think it... Uh, Two enclosure map bonus can be quite good. What did he take? Did he get, did he just take five income? He did. I don't mind two. So I guess he doesn't want to fill up his map with size two enclosures, but it's a lot better tempo wise because he's already got a ton of money. But layer, yeah. like I said, you can always use more money. Yeah, eagles already. Eagles are very strong. Already strong enough. Yeah, so for balance reasons, eagles should take up more space in the aviary, like two each. But how often do we fill up the aviary? Not very. Okay, red wants to play a lot of sponsors. Bit sad time to play sponsorship elephants, but science library not bad. Four each for the eagles. Oh, that's rough. What about three each so you can't play both of them? We'll, we'll compromise at that. Uh, Tomoaki getting hypnotized here. It's a bit unfortunate. Oh, actually, is this going to get rid of the venom token? That's what I want to know. If it is indeed animals that gets played. Use it to play a crocodile. What on earth is going on down here? Oh, we have a reptile house. <laughs> Snaps up the Sumatran tiger and just another reptile for the house. Wow, so did we just see four animals played in a row? That's impressive. So points are reasonably even. Yeah, the Venom token does go, so maybe helping Tomoaki a little bit. Water Playground does get played in that little corner spot. Does Tournament in Peaceful change strategy? Uh, a little bit, not too much. It just changes the balance of the animals, obviously. It means the uh, those little hypnosis snakes are insanely good, like eagle level good. And the pilfering monkeys are a lot worse, but other than that, I don't think too much changes. Yeah, the, the determination is a big difference. Am I doing WSBG? No. I live too far away from it. Something like a 20 hour flight or something, meh. Probably longer. See yellow drawing cards. Yeah, just to get rid of the Venom. That Venom's been very annoying. Annoying. Uh, red doesn't seem to care about it. 
<laughs> I would be interested in going if, if there was a local WSPG. So yeah, it looks like the dingo now is getting snapped for uh, for the Australia icon. It's a little bit odd. I would have been tempted to just take the Australia partner zoo, although I guess there's not really any use upgrading either of these cards right now. Switch from Splendor, so you're playing, you're competing in Arc Nova, cool. Yeah, Doc, it would be a bit far for you to travel as well, I guess. <laughs> oh, we have Blue building, building over this spot and playing Spokesperson, it's an interesting move. Just building a size 1 enclosure. Oh, that's actually pretty cute. Uh, it it just gets them to eight CP, which allows them to put a multiplayer on associate. So that's, that's nice timing for them. They're all four player games, right? I think you got some tough competition that's going to be there as well. We have Red playing the American Bison for max iconic animal points. Yeah, that would be the thing. A lot of the, a lot of the uh, games would clash, I guess. That is a huge expert in small animals for yellow. Yeah, I'm, I'm still a bit baffled by the petting zoo, honestly. Like even now, the size two enclosure would have been useful for the dingo, like size two and size one. The one not very useful, but size two could have been used right now. I guess at the time there was the horse and the... No, the horse was already gone, it was just the pigs. Okay. We see a pavilion. Yeah, pavilion and the size 4 for the rhino. Taking the kookaburra. Yeah, not really clear how we're getting all the size 2 enclosures at the moment. But Iconic, obviously, good value in four-player games, although not really for Australia, this game. 124 players in Arc. Wow. Should mostly be three-player, really? I thought they were only going to be four-player. <laughs> huh. Do you know that for a fact, Jim? Okay, oh, blue, blue using their multiplier. Huh. But there's still time for more people to sign up, right? It's still a couple of weeks away, I think. Two weeks or something? We are currently seeing red support five Americas. Yep. They played the American Bison before, so good for them. Okay, Red looks in a pretty strong position right now. They have the points lead. Their income is up there. They're out of money, though. Also a bit... They, and they have 5x tokens, that's impressive, but... A bit rough not having animals upgraded, because all the good animals that you want to be playing late game, or most of them, require an upgraded tag. Oh, registration is closed. Interesting. Yeah, I see a lot of benefit to playing online. Just have it open worldwide. Not like people can really cheat in Ark Nova. Okay, Tomawaki playing animals at four again because the reputation does not matter. Ah, so this looks at, like just the Thorny Devil for five habitats and the Rhino. Oh, can't afford it, unfortunately. But it is habitat diversity.
Science Lab for Blue. Very nice. Two endgame CP for them. Actually, Blue's looking in a pretty strong position as well. They have a lot of endgame points here. Very sad Meerkat Den though, only one herbivore, but it did cover the park restaurant. Yeah, this should be the last break before the end of the game. People are getting to that sort of score now. Uh, it's going to be like the break and then two, three moves game over, I guess. There is still the Rhino release. Uh, he can't do that till after the break. So it's a little bit awkward. And he still only has two workers, right? So he can only really support one project. There's no easy way of getting a third worker. Maybe he should have paid a, like a little bit more attention to the reputation just to hit eight. Yeah, it's not really clear how he's gonna finish off the game strongly, but we'll see. Sponsoring it for just to get some money. Yeah, it's a rough position to be in. No X tokens, no money. I guess everyone's everyone's out of money, so the break should be coming soon. And still only the three card upgrades, but yeah, not much point upgrading sponsors or cards right now. Yeah, I, I like that money is not a tiebreaker. It just opens up a lot of possibilities for different ways to play the game. Red playing diversity research, and that's cool. That is a very good observation. Uh, no one has four upgrades. Huh. How does yellow not have four? Yellow just chilling on four reputation. They're about to get their fourth. Uh, fourth upgrade, that is. Yeah, there, there they go. Two true ties in one week. Wow. That is impressive. Yellow sitting on six reptiles with their reptile house. Mm -hmm. Sad action there. Uh, size it to enclosure for the dingo. So I think we can call that petting zoo a mistake now. At the time, I guess, with the small animal zoo goal as well, it did make some sense. Like, if you're going to be pushing for small animals, a petting zoo makes sense. Arcade for blue. Arcade also quite decent in four-player games. Although only if you have an appeal lead. They take the thorny devil, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, no one triggering the break here. Very sad for Tamawaki. Let's see, red take uh, America release. They are the player with the bison. That would be a very good animal to release. And then reuse the enclosure. Yellow playing Foreign Institute. They're not interested in breaking either. So are we just going to see a three sponsor break from Tomoaki? Yeah, it looks like it. That's never an ideal position. Being the one to trigger the last break, well, presumably the last break. Yeah, I'm just thinking how much cleaner the game would have been if it held his nerve and waited to use the sun bear a little bit. 
Pfl. I guess there's not too much snappable here for him. So I guess uh, from Tomowaki we're going to see animals and then habitat diversity. Yeah, that sun bear round went on for ages. I think it was more than three turns. And yeah, at this stage you really want to have three workers. Yellow's in the same boat. Alright, let's see. Taking a cards action at the start of this round is not ideal either. So like, after the last break you really just want to be like, maybe building animals and associate in the game. Taking a cards action is very very slow. Red does the same, just taking more birds. I don't mind the rule about uh, triggering the end of the game in the break. It doesn't happen that often, but I think it's fair that everyone gets an extra turn. It'd be really unfair if the uh, player who triggered it didn't get another turn after the break. That would just be extremely imbalanced for them. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, this is uh, very different from how Tomowaki usually plays. This could be map dependent as well. I'm just not sure about the, the unis over the partner zoos. I mean, if I'm thinking of reasons, the money discount from the partner zoos is not, is not import, as important on ice cream parlors because you have that much more income. We haven't actually hit expert in, on Americas, by the way. Only got four kiosks. Uh, I did skim through the wiki, I did not read everything fully. Just playing the dingo. So a ton of money here, but no way to spend it. I think in four player games it changes a lot, but even in two player games, I'm starting to think outdoor areas is just straight up better. Red associating, okay, red releasing their bison. Everyone's uh, getting towards 100 points. Red in the lead right now, and they have a ton of money to play animals with. They have empty enclosures and aviary, but the up not upgrading animals is going to hurt right about now. means they can't play like the elephants and eagles. Yellow going up to seven reptiles. Oh my. Those are some full houses. I was going to suggest that they might have natural asu, but uh, we know that they don't. How's yellow looking for points? So red on 88, they could potentially end the turn, uh, end the game next turn. Yellow getting close, but their associates down at one, so yellow's out of the race. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a nice association action, but it's only going to get Tomowaki like still behind red. Observation Tower. I do like Observation Tower as well. I'm always happy to play on it. Okay, we see the size 2 finally taken now. Size 2 makes sense. Uh, if we're to assume that Red's going to end the game this turn, 
then just having some place to play the kookaburra is more points. I was going to suggest you could also look at pouching, but it would leave him with nothing to do for the last remaining turns. Blue playing expert in large animals for four appeal. Yeah, this ostrich really got in the way of the aviary. Red plays the marabou. Gets some closer. Penguin pull as well. And the white stalk, is that enough? Now yeah, that should be enough to end the game. With penguin pool, perfectly on 100. Bit sad, can't use the multiplier, but okay, the end of the game is triggered. Who wins from here? Yellow spends their last action getting to reputation. Uh, yeah, they obviously have nothing better to do. Yeah, their associate was stuck down at one before. Yeah, the end game is going to be very rough. Uh, only getting to play one animal now. The, uh, the pond total is not playable, sadly. Yeah, look at red donating. Look at all those donations. They still end the game with 40 money somehow. That's crazy. Blue not spending an X token is a little bit suspicious. They might have an eagle or something. Or a sun bear? No. Don't know why you wouldn't spend the X token, but it's fine. Yeah, blue getting a ton of end game points here and research too. Wow, very nice. Red getting a few, not a lot. Yellow, not enough. Yellow, nearly enough for, for our third, though. Tomowaki finishes in third on 89. Yeah, just didn't really feel like things clicked that game for him. Obviously, the end goals were very unfortunate, but that is something that, that can happen in any game. Uh, I really liked his start, though. The... Science Institute into two research was really nice. It obviously helped Blue, who was able to support it later. Hmm, I just wonder about taking the five income or something. But also, like, the, the petting zoo was ob obviously a mistake in, in hindsight. I think also snapping the rhino long term was a mistake as well. But he did well getting 5 species and 5 habitats, it just wasn't enough. The goals were relatively easy this game, I feel. Still interesting game though, I think he played the early game extremely well, just didn't really click towards the end. Now this is the winner's board. <laughs> Not a lot going on here, they won with an ostrich in the... Uh, in the bird aviary. How much elo did he lose? We'll, uh, we'll check that in a sec. Also, not covering the one reputation spot is wild. I think that was the first enclosure, right? Yeah. Really wanted to clever something down, but I'd normally just build a size 3 enclosure here, and then meerkat down here, same result. Okay, I guess slightly worse for covering the, the restaurant. Minus 11, 
Actually, I thought it would be a lot worse than that. I was thinking minus 20 or something, but the opponents are decently rated. Still like half his rating. Kind of surprising, actually. I would have expected a lot, a lot worse. But the thing is, when he wins, he's only getting plus 3 or plus 4, so it's, it's really hard to climb in 4-player. Blue did not upgrade build. Blue, blue, blue. True. Uh, sponsors with Explorer Science Lab, they just really helped, though. Not upgrading build or associate. Yeah, to be fair, Tomowaki does win a lot. Uh, if we check his stats. 152% win rate. But you can see just how difficult it is to climb when you're getting a first place plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, and then you lose minus 11. That is true as well. Playing a lot of turn-based games in a row can, can be tricky. All of his games are turn-based. Yeah, we can see all the long thinking times. Alright. To end the stream, we'll show off a cool little uh, BDW end game that he wanted to share. So, two-player game against a very strong opponent. This is also a top 20 player. They were in the stats video. Do I think he was trying something new? I don't think so. I I would love to know the reasoning why he picked the universities over his normal partner zoo. But I don't think he was trying anything new. He just obviously thought it was a good enough reason to go for it that game. So opponents tree at the end of the game. There's a 50 point deficit here. But we can see from BDW's hand that stupid things are about to happen. And yeah, if you're, if you're the opponent, you're like, I've got this in the bag, I'm 50 points off, but here we go. Just a casual two animals, sun bear, even giving the opponent points with a polar bear exhibit. Uh, we should note here, of course, has upgraded sponsors and has explorer, so that's going to be giving a ton of points as well. Sun bear and eagle. Keeps the monkey, because why not? Hmm, Sun Bear action, just going to support birds at strength 5. Also get a CP from the map bonus. Okay, second extra action. Let's play the eagle now. And a wombat, just for fun. Well, for some reason, the replay thinks he has 23 cards, but we know that's not true. Opponent has negative 14. They have uh, been discarding very heavily. Eagle, so he's caught up in points now. And last little turn, nearly perfect money. Just plays the, uh, the Wallaby for the third petting zoo animal and the pouching. To take a point lead from a 50 point deficit. And yeah, points from the Wombat, not important, but why not? Can play it anyway. Seven point win. Relatable. <laughs> yeah, how does that feel, uh, Doc? Does it bring back memories from last week? That was the reason that he sent it to me, because he saw the end of last week's stream and just thought, hey, I've got this cool game that I want to show as well. 33 turns on outdoor areas. Oh yeah, so actually, let's uh, let's find my 25 turn game. I think it was actually the no sponsors game, which makes sense when you think about it. Uh... I don't think it was that game. Let's... Played a bit today. 31, 36, 25, here we go. 25 turns. Just gonna go all the way to the end. 
Oh, it can't have been this game because I because there's bet there. Yeah, bet helped a lot. Yeah, outdoor areas: uh, eagle, sun bear, rhino. All your all your classic three. Six projects supported as well, so Vet did a lot of work that game. And yeah, Export on Africa as well, actually, just allowing to to clever a lot. Extra action from Hippo as well. We were all about the extra actions this game. So yeah, I don't think 24 is possible without a lot of help from the opponent. Yeah, and 130 was what was like, holy crap as well. I managed to get Africa 5 from my Rhino. Yeah, 25 turns to 130 is a record I think I'll never break. Just everything worked out perfectly this game. Yeah, very cool one to uh, finish off the stream with. Did I get a free uni and free partner zoo? That I don't remember, but I must have, right? I think I got at least one of them. If not that, then maybe 10 money. But yeah. I'll end the stream there. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll be back doing this next Friday and regular BGA stream on Sunday. So see everyone there. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day. And yeah, Avery on Outdoors, always bottom left. Otherwise, it's just touching the gates and no one likes that. Yeah, good night everyone.